this is a messy topic. Well, they're all messy, but John Cena. Oscars 2024 producers break down John Cena's nude moment. We made sure he looked like a Ken doll from up front. John Cena is going through one of the sickest, demonic, satanic, humiliation rituals. <laughs> I can't say humiliation. I can say it right there, but I can't say it in a sentence. John Cena is going through one of the most sickest, satanic, demonic, humiliation rituals. I got it. That I've ever seen. Maybe you've seen worse. Maybe you've seen worse. I just want to remind you that the John Cena that we just saw at the Oscars, that man who was on stage with literally no clothes on, being humiliated in front of millions and millions of people, just a week prior, he went on Jimmy Kimmel Live and dressed up as a teenage girl for The Tonight Show with a full face of makeup, lipstick, a dress, flowers in his hair. And also, before that, he was promoting a movie called Ricky Stanicky, where they literally have this man in a skirt and some stockings and some high heel boots and some ponytails, a full face of makeup again, sitting on his knees in the promotional poster for this movie. That's three separate instances. Well, actually four. Because right after, right after he got on stage, right after he got on stage at the Oscars, the very next thing they did was they put him in this curtain. Now, someone to call this a dress. I don't know. Maybe this is a dress, but it looks like a curtain. He's wearing it as a dress. So it has four dresses in one week for John Cena. And I'm reminded of something that Cat Williams said. And I'm going to play this Cat Williams clip for everybody so, so we can listen to it. But Cat Williams literally said this on the Joe Rogan podcast. This is going to be a bad shirt day for me. My shirt keeps scrunching up like this. I hate when it does that. Cat Williams literally said on the Joe Rogan podcast, he said... Have you ever seen a man in Hollywood wear a dress unsuccessfully? There's a reason why these dudes are putting on dresses. There's a promise of fame and fortune. It's not random. I don't necessarily think they're always doing it for their own personal enjoyment. I mean, there might be some of these dudes who just love to cross dress and who are just extremely flamboyant. But I think for the most part, there's a promise that's being made behind the scenes of like, hey, if you do this for us, if you appease our wicked, perverted sexual desires, and if you put on this dress, if you go out there butt naked, if you do this, that, and the third, if you act like a teenage girl with a full face of makeup and some pigtails so that we can get off to it, then we're going to make sure that you're successful and we're going to make sure that you always have a job in Hollywood and we're going to make sure that you get your accolades, that you get your awards because that's what matters most to you. You, you want them golden little statues, them little Oscar little statues. I'm going to make sure that you get those as long as you make sure that you get me right first. I think that's the conversation that's being happening behind the scenes. And that's why we're seeing all these people put on these dresses and literally degrade themselves as men to the point where I don't even recognize if y'all are even men anymore. Like straight up, I don't even recognize that y'all are even masculine at this point. You've literally traded your masculinity for a paycheck, literally selling your soul. You're literally selling your soul. Let me play this clip real quick. Uh, this is Cat Williams. He discusses 
the ritual of putting on the dress. Cat Williams discusses the ritual of putting on the dress on Joe Rogan. Show me one person that ever wore a dress in Hollywood unsuccessfully. Check this out. So like when I when I be like, uh, oh, these guys are wearing dresses. And everybody's like, oh, he keeps talking about people wearing dresses. No, it's that not. That is it's, a weird thing. It's not like that. Look at it from a different way. Look at it. Show me one person that ever wore a dress in Hollywood unsuccessfully. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you understand what a ritual is. Mm. So 20 years ago, I knew that transgenders was going to be a thing. It wasn't because I was a prophet. <laughs> it's just I had gotten so much information that I understood the that pattern. things are secular. So I understood that the earliest I had seen that word transgender was um, Baphomet, the transgender. Um, and so I knew that the, in the ritual of Baphomet, the transgender, to show allegiance to him, you had to kiss his ass ring. Really? And it said both of those things. So I knew that both of those things would become popular in the future. And that um, somehow calling people the goat would be normalized over the sheep being always the most popular reference. So he went off a little bit, but he said, name me one person who wore a dress unsuccessfully. And then he goes into the Baphomet transgender conversation which is a very interesting conversation that i would like to get into at some point just not right now but name me one person who has worn a dress unsuccessfully i don't think it's a coincidence that uh john cena wore a dress on the oscar stage and i don't think it's a coincidence that he was literally butt naked on the oscar uh, stage as well like I think that sometime in the near future, I don't know if it's going to be next Oscar or maybe in two Oscars, John Cena going to win himself an Oscar. He's going to win an Oscar. I'm calling it right now. I don't think you get on stage and do what you do and humiliate yourself to this level and there's not going to be some sort of kickback to you for your efforts, for your compliance i think he's gonna win an oscar and he's gonna keep getting movie roles and he's gonna keep getting fat checks that's gonna continue to happen and all while this is happening hollywood is gonna keep pushing this narrative that men are weak it doesn't matter how strong you look from an outward appearance men are weak this is the narrative that Hollywood wants to push. Men are weak, they're stupid, they're dopey, they're dumb. That's the narrative that they want you to push. Doesn't matter how many muscles you have. Doesn't matter how much you work out. You're weak. And we're going to show you how weak you are. Even Terry Crews. I was watching Terry Crews, um, a little bit of it, his interview on Club Shay Shay. And Terry Crews was talking about how he was assaulted by a producer and so many people did not believe Terry Crews because they're like, bro, Terry, you're like 6'4", 260, all muscle. How are you going to let somebody do this to you? But it's the same thing. Those individuals who, who, who are perceived to be, quote unquote, manly from a physical appearance standpoint, those are the people who they want to establish like, yo, if we can break this person, then just know we could break anyone. And that's what they want to establish in Hollywood. They want to let y'all know. So. I don't know how many more times we're going to keep seeing this. I don't know how many. I, I really don't. Because at this point, it's not funny. It's not comedy. It's just perverted. 
It's just perverted. But yet we keep seeing it time and time again. And it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't shock me. But it just reminds me that humans are motivated by their own fleshly desires. And naturally, humans are disobedient to God. Who came up with this idea to have this man walk out on stage with no clothes on? Whoever came up with that idea and approved that idea is a pervert. And you're motivated by your own fleshly desires. John Cena, why would you receive this idea and be okay with this idea and execute this idea in front of millions of people? Well, it's because you're motivated by your own fleshly desires. You want to be seen. You want to be known. You want to be heard. You want to be rich. You want to be famous. All of that type of stuff. And so you're literally willing to sacrifice your masculinity, to sacrifice your respect, to sacrifice your dignity in exchange for a golden statue that you can't take with you when you pass away. But so many people struggle with sacrificing their own sinful desires for the sake of pleasing Jesus Christ. Because we live in this world of instant gratification. We want what we want and we want it right now. We don't want to wait. We don't want to wait for an, for an eternal promise of salvation with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We don't want to wait for that. What can you give us right now? What can you give me right now? What can you offer me right now? Is it money? Is it fame? Is it fortune? Is it cars? Is it women? Is it men? Whatever you're into, what can you offer me right now? That's the most common route that people take. And it's no secret why the Bible says that, you know, the path is a very narrow path. But the path of destruction is very wide. There's a lot of people who are on that wide path because they're led by their sinful desires and they want immediate gratification. And they're allowing that immediate gratification to literally lead them to hell. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's just a very weird image. It's a very weird image. And listen, I understand because he used to be in the WWE. Some of the outfits that these men be wearing in WWE is not exactly like straight. You know what I mean? Like if I were to look at a lot of these WWE outfits, I would be like, bro, it wouldn't surprise me if you were gay because you put that on. You put that Speedo and that spandex on. You put them them 12 inch, you know, boots on and you jumped in that in that ring and, and it was wrestling with some men. It wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if you were gay. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know what's going on with John Cena. I don't know if it's, the, it's gay. I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know if it's they got to him. I don't know if he's trying to get make sure that he is that he always has a job in Hollywood. I don't know if he need the money. I can't imagine he needs the money. I don't know what it is aside from the fact that, yo, some people will do crazy things in exchange to receive the wicked desires of their heart. Maybe that's just what it is. And maybe we could just leave it at that. All right. Let's just leave it at that. 